Hi guys, today we're going to talk about all things ink. So I'm going to show you through the inks that I have, the inks that are my favourites or ones that I have tried and I do like. So I won't show you exactly every ink that I've gotten in but I will kind of talk about the differences between them and things like that. So I'm going to show you two types of inks. One is more for art or more for a nib or a dip pen, a nib holder and one is for fountain pens so you can see here this is my little box of ink samples and i highly recommend if you're starting to look into inks to get ink samples so i got these from Goulet pens and vaness pens and i i know there are other companies maybe pen chalet anderson pens so um, you can generally get the ink colors that you're looking for in a sample size and it, it makes such a difference uh, sometimes you think that you'll really like a color and when you swatch it you just don't or it's it's maybe too thick or it's it's just not right for your pen or sometimes um, you know you find a color that you didn't necessarily think you'd like in real life and it's just more beautiful in real life so the first time i got samples i think uh so i've probably talked about this before but my general weekly allowance for art sort of things is 20 to 35 dollars so i i got my first set of samples it might have been like six or seven samples and i was really shocked i learned a lot from the samples and in this box this is just an old cigar box and this is where i have most of my dip pen uh inks so there are a couple like this one is a fountain pen ink and i'll talk you through all these you know as the video goes on but uh, i like to keep my art ink sort of in there and um, these are mostly from uh michael's so whenever we go there there's just a small selection so we usually go to different different locations to try out the different stores and they'll always have a few different inks so it's not really consistent over the, the store and they're usually at the back near the watercolors and so generally like my sister and I will pick one each and we always pick different ones but um, yeah so those are ones I really like to use with my nib holder but if you don't have a dip pen you can just use these for art as well you can use it with a paintbrush but definitely do not use them in your fountain pens. They will completely clog the fountain pen. So when I get something new as well, I like to swatch it out in my sort of commonplace book at the beginning of my planner. And I got this uh, Sennelier Silver ink. It's really gorgeous. And so you can see here as well, this is a ink that I put in my fountain pen and I tried that as well. So I have kind of different swatches in here, whether it's uh, from the fountain pen, from the nib holder or, you know, what, whatever I'm trying to work out. So one of my favorite resources for looking at inks is Chris Sayens, her channel. She and now she has a website as well, so you can compare ink colors, which is really amazing. So you can go on there and look for the color that you're looking for, see which inks are available around that color as well. So um, that's a really great resource, and I will link her channel and that uh, website below. So if you see my last video, I got some new uh, poster nib, like a dip poster nibs for the dip pen. So you will like that's what we're going to use today to swatch them, and then I will swatch them. I will write them out, and you can see the difference. And that's why I like to swatch them in different ways because it's really important to see, uh, you know, see how they write. Then you can also see how they look if, in case you want to use them for something else. Like for example, if you swatch them out and you see really beautiful colours or sheening uh, and then you put them in your pen and you're not seeing that, it could be because the nib's too small. Uh, you either need a broader nib or a stub nib or something like that. Okay, and it is so busy here this morning, so I'm just going to let you swatch the... Um, 
So I'm gonna let you watch the swatches and then we will be back and I will talk you through them. Okay, and here is my sister. She's just laughing at me in the background because I'm fumbling <laughs> over my words. So I thought- <laughs> Don't subscribe to her. <laughs> Don't say that on my channel. <laughs> I thought I'd introduce you to her, but um, she'll probably appear in some more videos. <laughs> oh no!
Okay, so uh, back to it. Uh, we're going to start with Rose Gilt Tint. So this is one of my favourite inks of all time. It's a Robert Oster one, but you know, I, I'm, I'm really worried about it in my fountain pen. I make sure to use it every day and I feel like it, um, you know, it could clog the ink if you don't clean it enough or if you don't use it enough. So, uh, clog the nib, sorry. So, um, but I really love the color of it. I love um, using it for art as well. But you can see here, like when you're using a fountain pen ink with a dip pen, it doesn't flow exactly. It's not the right consistency, but I really appreciate the viewer who reminded me that you can use gum arabic uh, to thicken it up. So if you did want to uh, use it with a dip pen, you can pour a little bit into another, you know, bottle and then put a few drops of gum arabic in until it's a bit of a thicker consistency. Okay, so this next one is Noodler's Rachmaninoff. I really do like this ink, but it is quite thick as well. This is one of the things that surprised me when I got the samples. Um, it's a very, very thick ink, so I'm really not sure how it would um, and also very staining like you can see there on the dip pen like it's just really taking over that whole um, front of the the pen there so I'm not really sure about putting it in a pen I'd be a little bit worried and so I think I'm gonna get the diamine hope pink instead I really like the diamine inks even though I don't have any here swatch they're a really beautiful flowing ink in your pen uh, and then this one here is one of the ones from Michaels. It's the FW Fluorescent Pink. So it is for dip pens. It is not for uh, fountain pens. And again, this one is an Eco Line ink. So this is more for art as well. It's not even really for either fountain pens or dip pens. It's just another sort of ink that I have. And I think it's just more for art. It's one of those ones I thought I'd like or use more than I have. I haven't really found a use for it yet. And then this is the, I think this is another, this is a Dr. PH Martins one. So again, this is for a dip pen, not a fountain pen. And this is Frosted Peach. So this is another one where I thought I'd like it more. Uh, it's still a little bit too orange for what I was looking for. And then again, we're back to um, the Eco line. So, but with the Frosted Peach, once I have used some, I'm going to tip in some of the uh, Dr. PH Martins. They have a pearl white and sort of lighten that color down a bit. So this is another Dr. PH Martins. This is one of my favorites as well. This is a nickel. It's a really beautiful color. It's more of a oyster beige sort of a colour. It's really pretty. So this next one is also one that I really like. I, I didn't get a... So I just have it in the ink sample size, but it's a gorgeous one. It is one of the um, J Herben uh, anniversary editions. So it's a brown with gold in it. It's really pretty. So this one here is a Sailor ink. I got it the other week. I They didn't have any sample sizes of it. So I got, I, I got actually two colors to try and they're not exactly what I expected but I still don't mind them and I can mix them with other inks. So this is a Dr. PH Martins as well. This is, uh, I believe this is a silver, so it's a really light silver color. And then I have the Sennelier ink, which is next, which is also a silver, but it's more of an antique silver. So they're both really pretty. And they are both four dip pens, not fountain pens. Okay, so this is the one you've been seeing lately. This is sort of next in line to my favorite uh, Windsor & Newton Gold drawing ink. This is the Sennelier 
I believe it's a shellac ink so it's got a little bit of a different consistency to it it dries it you've got to wait and let it dry uh, it's a little bit sticky until it dries is what I'm trying to say so and that could take 15 or 20 minutes Kaweco Smoky Grey and this is uh, sort of one of my first ones that I got and it it's not necessarily my favorite for flow but it I really didn't mind the color I'm still looking for sort of the perfect soft gray and I find that if I put a touch of diamine night sky in it that it it's really nice it flows really nicely so this one is again one that I absolutely love this is the FW Shimmering Green. So it's a barely there color and you really need to see it under a daylight bulb um, to really get the full effect of that sheen. But it's so pretty. Okay, this next one is one I got for my sister. So this is a new to me, um, ink company and I believe they might actually be a fairly new ink company this is Sirena it's I think supposed to be like a mermaid ink and then I wanted to put that next to this soft mint so you can see it's not really a soft mint it's more more of I'd say a turquoise green color but uh, again a really the diamond inks flow so nicely so this next one is again another FW Shimmering Blue and it's the same as the green one, it's really pretty. And here we have another Vinter one. This was only available in a sample size, but it's a really gorgeous one. This is Julio, and it's like a blue purple with a shimmer. It's really gorgeous. So I will give you a close up look at these and then we will swatch a couple of purples. Okay, so the first one is another Vinter ink and this is mascara again it's a really gorgeous um, sort of blue purple and these Vinter ones are fountain pen inks as well I think I'll actually put a list down um, below the video of which ones are fountain pen friendly and which ones aren't so that you can kind of see that uh, for a reference <laughs> So this is a fountain pen ink, this is uh, Murasaki, I think purple, Irishizuku, and this is a really nice uh, flowing ink that they have beautiful inks as well. And then this is another one of my favourites, this is Amethyst de Laurel by Jay Urban and it's another gorgeous shimmer ink. Uh, it's like a aubergine color and the next one that I will swatch which one is this this is also sort of that aubergine color with the gold so this is the Robert Oster Barossa gilt and this is also a fountain pen ink but you can see here how gorgeous they are anyway guys that is it for today I hope you're doing well and I will see you soon um, if you have any questions about any of the inks let me know below thanks bye